Rock and today I'm going to talk you through square numbers. So square numbers, they're just integers, so they're whole numbers, and we find them by squaring another integer. So when you multiply a whole number by itself, the result is always a square number. So let's have a look at the first few here. Number one is the first square number, and to find that square number, we have to do one squared, which is one times one. To find the second one, this one here, we have to do 2 squared, which is 2 times 2, which gives us the 4. For the next one, we do 3 squared, which is 3 times 3, which gives us the 9. And then we do 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, which gives me the 16. So you're squaring these whole numbers to calculate the square numbers below. So for the next one, we're just going to continue the pattern and I'm going to work out 5 squared. Well, 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. 6 squared is 6 times 6, which is 36. 7 squared is 49, and so on. So it's a good idea to try and remember these first few square numbers. I would say up to at least the 10th the square number, which is 100. Okay, because they come up very often in maths. And if you can't remember them off by heart, don't worry. Just remember how to calculate them. Remember, you have to square these numbers in order to calculate those square numbers below. So, down here, I've got some larger numbers. Now, I'm not suggesting that you remember all the square numbers up to the 300s. I'm just going to explain to you how you can work out whether or not these are square numbers. So, in your calculator, you will try and square root the number. If you can square root it to get a nice whole number as your answer, so an integer, it means it's a square number. So if you square root 324, you get 18. So this is an integer, it's a whole number, which means 324 it is a square number. It means that if we square that number 18, so times it by itself, we get 324. But if we put this number in the calculator, this time it's a different story. This time when we square root the number, we don't get a whole number, we get something like 18.02. Okay, so we're not squaring a whole number to get 325, so that one is not square. So next time you see square numbers, I hope you remember this video, and that's all from me for today, so goodbye.